Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Siemens Innovation 2021, the future of automation event. Uh, my name is Nikun Shah. I am a development and certification manager for low voltage drive products in motion control business. And I also get involved in development and maintenance of uh, various national as well as international standards such as UL, NEMA, IEC, IEEE, NEC, etc. And I also represent Siemens on many standards technical panel, such as UL 61800-5-1, which is a topic uh, for today, as well as UL 508A, UL 1741, and many others, and various technical committees of IEC, NEMA, as well as IEEE Standards Association. Today, I'm going to cover the uh, topic of UL 61800-5-1 a new UL standard for the adjustable speed drives or variable frequency drives. Uh, as many of you are already aware that uh, last year, the old UL standard, uh, UL508C for the drives, low voltage drives, uh, has been withdrawn by UL, obsolete and withdrawn by UL and replaced with this new standard UL61800-5-1. And this withdrawal uh, has created significant and great impact in the industry and the certification requirements of uh, uh, the overall equipment or a system where these drives are used as a, as a component. And there are many questions from this last year's withdrawal. So today I'm gonna provide the expert's perspective on uh, what you need to know uh, in terms of uh, if you are an end user or a customer or a system integrator or a panel builder and the benefits of uh, using the drive certified according to UL 61800-5-1. This topic is divided into seven sections. Uh, at the end of this presentation, you would know the background information and motivation behind this development of this uh, new standard 61800-5-1. Uh, I'm going to cover the major differences between the uh, two standards, new UL 61800-5-1 and UL508C, which is obsolete and withdrawn last year, and also show you the tremendous benefits of using the drives certified according to UL 61800-5-1. Uh, we'll also go over the transition timeline rolled out by UL uh, in order to uh, transition the old legacy product certified according to 508C to the new standard 61800-5-1. Uh, we're gonna cover the industry impact, uh, especially uh, what you need to know if you are an end user or a customer, uh, you are an OEM, system integrator, machine builder, or a panel builder, and also the benefits of using the drive certified according to this new standard. Then I'm gonna cover how you can ensure the compliance of a drive with uh, UL 61800-5-1. How you can check, how you can verify the drives that you are using is really compliant with this new standard. Uh, then I'm gonna cover what Siemens is offering with its uh, uh, state-of-the-art uh, Synamics low voltage drive portfolio. And then finally, we'll summarize our learning and understanding from this presentation. If you have any questions related to this topic or any other topic related to the low voltage drives, I would encourage you to visit us uh, in a motion control booth today. Uh, let's start with the background information and motivation. The main motivating factors uh, behind the development of this new standard uh, was to replace the UL508C by creating a single global set of requirements for the safety and design of low voltage drive products uh, so that uh, it reduces the uh, design, testing, and certification burden for the low voltage drives, which otherwise required compliance with at least two different sets of completely different requirements. One with UL508C for UL marking uh, requirement, typically in North America, more predominantly in US and Canada, and according to EN or IEC 61800-5-1, for C marking, typically for the drives installed and used in Europe and uh, the rest of the world. The, this one is also, um, the objective is also to create a single design of a low voltage drive products, which can be used globally without any restriction of the locations and without requiring uh, that product to go through uh, any other certification requirements. 
to develop a single set of global requirements to develop a single set of or single product or single design of the product that can be used globally anywhere and installed anywhere. Uh, the re original intent was to uh, create the requirements by uh, merging or by adding the requirements from UL as well as from IEC. So the first draft version of this UL 61800-5-1 was created by adding the requirements from UL 508C and IEC 61800-5-1. However, the Canadian Standards Association, CSA, uh, developed their own version of uh, the adjustable speed drive standard, which is C22.2, number 274. And uh, finally, therefore, the requirements from this CSA standards uh, standard were also added together with the UL and IC standard. And when the standard was published, uh, additional new requirements were created uh, and included into the final version which was published in order to ensure uh, or to bridge the gap uh, which were present in the uh, parent standard ULIC and CSA. So the result was the most stringent standard available uh, globally for the certification or safety certification of the low voltage drive products that is UL 61800-5-1. Uh, this standard shows the strict and more demanding construction and performance or testing requirements as compared to its predecessors which was obsolete and withdrawn last year as compared to 508C. The development and maintenance of this 61800-5-1 is an ongoing process just like any other industry standard. And it is done to harmonize these three parent documents that ULIC and CSA uh, to minimize the na national differences or to eliminate the national differences so that single set of global requirements can be created and a, a single design of the uh, low voltage drive products uh, that can be uh, realized as envisioned before. Therefore, the first edition of the harmonized standard uh, was published uh, nine years, about nine years ago, that is in June 2012. And it was published when UL 508C was also active. So both these standards, 61800-5-1 as well as UL 508C, coexisted for almost like eight years until the UL completely obsolete and withdrawn UL 508C last year in February 2020.